Hey everyone, you're with Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thanks so much for joining us. In today's video, I'm going to show you how versatile a Kia EV6 and indeed all electric vehicles are by showing you a range of electric vehicle charging options of differing speeds. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so I'm here to prove that the Tesla Generation 3 wall connector, which is this device here, can indeed charge a Kia EV6. Provided you've got the right setting on the Tesla wall connector's back end. Green lights flashing means it's working. Let's follow it down. All one single shot. Okay, there we go. There it is connected to the Kia EV6 and flashing light means it's working, it's charging away. And the screen on the Kia tells us that it is charging at 11 kilowatts, which is great. It's receiving the full three phase charging from the Tesla Gen 3 wall connector. And now just showing you that it's charging from the provided 10 amp charger into a regular 10 amp socket. Let's follow the cable down, past the Tesla charger that's charging our Tesla Model S currently. Following it down, there's the charger box down there on the ground. All the single shot here, following the cable. And there it is, charging the Kia EV6 for my regular 10 amp power point. And the car is showing that with 24% state of charge, it'll take 33 hours to get to 100%, drawing 2.1 kilowatts. Sure, it's slow, but uh, handy for emergencies and when there's no other choice. Okay, so here are the stats for this charging session. 60 cents per kilowatt hour, 22 minutes worth of charging. We added 52.490 kilowatt hours to the battery and it cost us $31.49. Today's charging session brought the battery from 17 to 81% and took it from 83 to 421 kilometers of range, therefore adding 64% or 338 kilometers of range to the battery. So on this graph here, I've plotted out the charging curves for these three vehicles. In blue, the Tesla Model 3, in orange, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, and in yellow, the Kia EV6. As you can see, the blue graph, which represents the Tesla Model 3, as the state of charge increases, the charging speed drops quite dramatically. With the Ioniq 5, it's fairly constant, and it drops in stages. And similarly with the Kia EV6, it also drops in stages. And interestingly, at 70% state of charge, the charging speed actually went up. So in this slide here, we've got a comparison between the Kia EV6 on the left in yellow and the Tesla Model 3 in blue on the right. So as you can see on the left with the Kia EV6, the state of charge increases in a linear fashion over time. Whereas with the Tesla Model 3 on the right in blue, as time goes on, you can see the state of charge starts to plateau off as the car's battery nears 100%.
Alright everyone, now you've seen the Kia EV6 charge in a few different scenarios. If you've charged your EV in a different situation, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already yet. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you on the next Ludicrous Feed video. And as always, happy charging.